For my fourth video during this pandemic, I want to explain why I'm calling for the wide adoption of nasal irrigation to fight COVID-19 for both my patients and the general public. This is a simple solution to safeguard all of us against COVID-19. We all know about hand washing, mask wearing, and social distancing. However, few of us understand the vital importance of nasal irrigation and gargling as a way to further protect ourselves against the coronavirus. COVID-19 is a highly contagious respiratory virus. However, it's also an easy virus to kill and control if we act responsibly. Coronavirus is primarily transmitted through droplets entering through the nose and throat. We wash every part of our body, especially our hands and outer skin, and brush our teeth. But most of us fail to cleanse our nose and throat, the entry portal for this respiratory virus. While nasal irrigation is not common in the United States, in India and Southeast Asia, nasal irrigation is widely adopted by the public and even suggested as a measure against cold and flu. Studies in these countries have shown that nasal irrigation reduces viral load, shortens the duration of illness, and lessens the spread of the virus in both children and adults. From a medical standpoint, the nasal cavity is rich in mucus and serous glands. Protecting your body is the first line of defense to bacteria and viruses. When pathogens get lodged in the nasal cavity, they become an ideal breeding ground to grow and invade the body. The take home message is simple. Nasal irrigation and gargling are essential to prevent COVID-19 from developing and transmitting it. From a scientific standpoint, our bodies can produce an immune response from the nasal irrigation that creates the active ingredients in bleach, hypochlorous acid, naturally inhibiting and possibly killing the virus. Studies have shown threefold benefits for people who irrigate. First, nasal irrigation increases protective enzymes such as lysozyme that can destroy pathogens. Second, it promotes lactoferrin, a protein that can protect the body from the invasion of viruses like the coronavirus. Third, saline irrigation clears the nasal passages more efficiently by increasing ciliary beat frequency. Ciliary beat frequency is a determining factor of clearing the mucus from the nose. Now that you're aware of the benefits of nasal irrigation, let's discuss how to start. Nasal irrigation is inexpensive and easy to buy or make yourself. There are two components of nasal irrigation before adding to distilled water, non-iodized salt such as kosher or sea salt and baking soda. Commercially or store-bought saline irrigation comes as isotonic and hypertonic packets based on the amount of salt. Personally, I prefer hypertonic saline irrigations because the higher salt content improves ciliary beat frequency and helps clear the nasal passages faster. However, there's not any scientific studies proving hypertonic irrigation is significantly superior to isotonic irrigation. Also, hypertonic saline may not be suited for everyone as it can burn and some may not tolerate. For children, I would recommend the easier to tolerate isotonic solution. I also recommend adding baking soda because it provides many benefits. Thins nasal mucus, improves nasal clearance, improves ciliary beat frequency, and possibly injures the outer envelope of the coronavirus. We know that the virus can harbor not only in the nose, but also in the throat. For the same rationale, I recommend saline gargles to reduce viral load, protect viral invasion, and reduce the possibility of viral transmission. I recommend nasally irrigating and gargling twice a day or if you think you've been exposed. In closing, washing your hands and wearing a mask to prevent an airborne virus is important, but not enough. Nasal irrigation and gargling are avenues to reduce the virus at its entry point, leading to lower transmission and less illness. It is a cost-effective treatment in the absence of a vaccine. Thank you for watching. My office is available for in-person appointments by visiting alamoent.com or by calling 210-545-0404. If you have any questions, please email me at dr.jeffrey.rosenblum at gmail.com. Stay safe and make sure to nasally irrigate and gargle.